On May 10, 1940, German forces under the command of General Erich von Manstein orchestrated the invasion of the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg, three nations located in the heart of the continent. The German Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, reached its peak, deploying innovative tactics and unprecedented tactical coordination to achieve a swift and surprising victory. With approximately 140,000 soldiers, the invasion of these three countries marked a crucial episode in World War II. It solidified the reputation of the German armed forces as a formidable force and underscored the urgent need to adapt to changing military strategies amid an unprecedented global conflict. In this detailed exploration, we will dissect the events surrounding the invasion, unraveling the complexities and implications of this crucial chapter in the European theater of World War II. Strategic Planning the foundation of Blitzkrieg. At the core of the invasion of Holland, Luxembourg, and Belgium during World War II lay a crucial element, meticulous strategic planning. This phase, carried out by prominent German military leaders such as Erich von Manstein and Gerd von Rundstedt, was the foundation upon which the Blitzkrieg strategy was erected. Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, was not simply an impulsive military assault, but a carefully designed tactic based on speed, surprise and tactical coordination to ensure a swift and decisive victory. To achieve this goal, every aspect of the operation required detailed planning and precise execution. German military leaders embarked on an exhaustive planning process, beginning with the identification of key strategic objectives. This included assessing enemy defenses, identifying vulnerabilities and selecting advance routes that maximized speed and impact. Strategic planning also took into account the geography and terrain conditions in the target countries. Detailed studies were conducted to understand the terrain, natural obstacles, and potential advance routes. This data was used to inform tactic selection and force deployment. Additionally, simulations and war exercises were conducted to test and refine plans before execution. This preparation phase allowed military leaders to identify potential challenges and develop contingency strategies to address them. Invasion of Holland On May 10, 1940, the invasion of Holland represented a masterful execution of the German Blitzkrieg. German forces launched a lightning offensive against Holland. With approximately 50,000 well-trained and coordinated German soldiers, the Blitzkrieg unfolded with surprising speed. Operating with innovative tactics, German forces used airborne assaults and strategic bombings to disorient and overwhelm Dutch forces. General Kurt Student led the paratrooper operation, capturing key strategic points such as the bridges over the Maas and Wall rivers. Despite the tenacious resistance of the Dutch people and armed forces, the German war machine proved overwhelming. The strategy of encirclement and envelopment, a distinctive feature of the Blitzkrieg, left Holland vulnerable. And within days, the nation surrendered on May 15, 1940. This invasion, though geographically small, had a significant impact by highlighting the effectiveness of the Blitzkrieg and setting a pattern for future German operations in Europe during World War II. Holland surrendered approximately five days after the start of the German invasion. Invasion of Belgium and Luxembourg. Following closely on the heels of the invasion of Holland, German forces directed their blitzkrieg towards Belgium and Luxembourg starting on May 10, 1940. In this continuation of their lightning strategy, approximately 90,000 German soldiers were deployed to secure a swift victory. The blitzkrieg swept through Belgium with astonishing speed, employing the same encirclement and envelopment strategy that had proven successful in Holland. Despite fierce Belgian resistance and their attempts to protect strategic points such as the city of Liège, German forces advanced relentlessly. The Belgian surrender on May 28, 1940, marked the end of organized resistance. Simultaneously, Luxembourg witnessed an equally swift German occupation. The efficient coordination of German infantry and air force, along with blitzkrieg tactics, led to the rapid occupation of Luxembourg. Luxembourg surrendered on the same day the German invasion began. On May 10, 1940, Belgium surrendered on May 28, 1940, nearly three weeks after the invasion began. Operation Dynamo and the Invasion of Flanders The region of Flanders, known for its strategic importance, was the scene of intense fighting. There witnessed a crucial chapter of the war, 
in the port city of Dunkirk, located on the northern coast of France, was the epicenter of a historic evacuation, Operation Dynamo. The German Blitzkrieg advanced rapidly, encircling and putting pressure on the Allied forces. Dunkirk, located on the northern coast of France near the border with Belgium, making it a crucial strategic point for controlling the English Channel, became the escape point for cornered British and French troops. Operation Dynamo, which took place between May 26 and June 4, 1940, was a monumental effort to evacuate these troops and bring them back to the United Kingdom. The evacuation of Dunkirk, executed by a fleet of civilian and military ships, managed to rescue over 330,000 Allied soldiers. This operation was an act of extraordinary bravery and cooperation as civilians, private vessels, and warships participated in the evacuation under constant threat of air and ground attacks. The connection between Operation Dynamo and the invasion of Flanders lies in the fact that Dunkirk, being an integral part of the region, directly witnessed the ravages of the Blitzkrieg and became a symbol of resistance and mass evacuation during World War II. Consequences. The consequences of the invasions in Holland, Belgium, and Luxembourg, as well as the German strategy in Flanders, left a profound imprint on the narrative of World War II. The swift occupation of these countries by German forces had repercussions at tactical, strategic, and political levels. From a tactical perspective, the German Blitzkrieg solidified as a highly effective military tactic. Air coordination and envelopment tactics proved to be powerful instruments in the German military arsenal. These invasions, particularly that of Belgium and Luxembourg, illustrated the vulnerability of traditional defenses. At a strategic level, German victories on the Western Front significantly altered the balance of power in Europe. The rapid conquest of Belgium and Luxembourg allowed Germany to consolidate a strong strategic position, securing logistical routes and facilitating future operations in the region. The occupation of Flanders, on the other hand, added an additional layer of strategic complexity, serving as a crucial control point between two nations. Politically, these invasions led to a reassessment of strategies and alliances in the international community. The speed at which these countries fell surprised many nations and raised concerns about the defense capabilities of the Allied nations. The massive evacuation of Dunkirk, a tangible echo of the invasions, became a critical point that spurred collaboration and solidarity among the Allies. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content about World War II and other historical events. Until next time.